hi guys welcome back to this lab session of this clustering section where we are learning about k-means algorithm so now that we have covered out all the theoretical aspect that we need to know let's execute everything that we have learned in our past videos in this lab section so let's name this file as k-means so the first and foremost step is as i've told you is always importing out the libraries so let's import a uh, few libraries like numpy over here what we are going to do is we are going to create a data set okay we are not going to import some data set but we will uh, from sklearn uh, from scikit-learn we have this make blobs module and from that we will create our own data set okay now let's import c1 as sns as of now, we don't really require pandas in this because we are not uh, using any CSV file. Okay, so let's start out creating out the data. Okay, let's name this as, let's create the data set. Create out some empty cells. And I have some from scikit-learn dot data sets. Let's import make blobs okay let's call this everything has been called off now if you want to check what this does you can actually check it out over here you have to mention the number of samples you need okay uh, if you are making out clusters so we have to mention the number of centers we need also n samples and a bit of cluster standard deviation okay 1.0 is fine and uh, if you want the same solution as mine then i'll just put a random state uh, a random state with us okay so the first thing that i need is n samples so let's say i have 600 samples and let's say i need centers six centers and let's random random state is if you want the same solution as me just write random state 101 okay. and what it returns back is the main thing okay if you check over here it has these parameters you can read about the parameters and it returns x and y okay so we have x comma y which is equal to this if you see x we have the x value which is an array and then these are basically uh, the y values okay. that is the y true true values okay now uh, let's do one thing let's plot a scatter plot okay. so plt so let's import matplotlib first import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt that's it let's call uh, plt dot scatter let's do this plt dot scatter and let's import everything okay that is all the if you check my array x so i have uh, uh i need the first column right first and then the second one as well so i have this and for y it will be absolutely the same thing So I will be needing one. As you see, there there are two features. Okay, this is for the x-axis, and this one is for the y-axis. Okay, that's it. And let's plot it out. Okay, let's set s equal to ten. Okay. So this makes my plot quite nice. If you want to put a wider space, then you can just set your uh, cluster standard deviation and uh, 0 0.50 let's check how we get okay so you can check uh, set out the standard deviation also as of now for us i think 70 works the best for us okay we have this we have these many clusters 